Alright, so whatever subspace W we take, as long as it's finite dimensional, we could find approximation for a function on it uh, using projections. We'll do it for one specific types of W. So here are the functions that we want to use to approximate other functions. This is super important in differential equations. So a trigonometric polynomial So uh, let's call it G. We're going to have a constant. And then we're going to use cosine and sine. And then we're going to use cosine 2 x and sine 2 x and so on and at some point we'll have to stop because um, yeah cosine nx plus bn so this will be a trigonometric polynomial and if one of these two, either a n or b n are not zero, then the degree will be n. So either b n or a n are not zero. And we'll say that g has degree Alright, so the W we'll use is the W of all these functions. Written like this, you can see that it's generated by 1 cosine sine cosine 2 sine 2 cosine AX sine AX because here A0, A1, AN are real numbers, so are B1, BN. Alright, so consider W, the space of G, uh, trigonometric polynomial of degree, um, let's call it WN, of degree less or equal to N. Alright, so this is a subspace. This is the span of 1, cosine x, sine x, cos 2x, sine 2x, all the way to sine nx. Alright, so it is a subspace just by the way we've defined it. And we're going to look at projections onto it. Those are going to be approximation of any continuous function by these cosine and sine function. Alright, to build projection, we need orthogonal bases, and so we're lucky in this case. We don't have to work hard. Turns out that this is actually an orthogonal basis. So, 1 cos of x, sine of x, blah 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 blah, cos nx sine and x. This is an orthogonal basis for Wn. So we could use it to build projections. Um, what people usually do is actually use a normalized version and that way they don't have to talk about lengths of functions like we have. They just have the pretty precise definition. So second, if I want to normalize it, I can. I'm going to get 
um, 1 over root 2 pi. And you'll see we're just dividing by the lengths of all these functions, and most of them have length root of pi. So the only one that doesn't have root, length, uh, root of pi is the first one, which we have to divide by root of 2 pi, but all the other ones end up with, sorry, root of pi. And so this one is an orthonormal basis for w. In the next video, I'll use this basis to find the approximation of a function um, within the space of trigonometric polynomials.